We're talking today to acupuncturist Uli Weissman. Hi, Uli. How are you? Hi, Jen. Thanks. I'm very good. Very good to hear. Uli, today we're going to talk about acupuncture. Now, acupuncture covers a wide range of treatment modalities. Can you explain this and what conditions you can treat? Well, acupuncture actually covers quite a wide range of acupuncture forms. There's meridian-based acupuncture, for example, traditional Chinese acupuncture, Japanese or Korean acupuncture. There's reflex-based acupuncture. Uh, the most common form is ear acupuncture. There's acupuncture directed at the musculoskeletal system, which is systemic trigger point acupuncture or trigger point acupuncture. Then there's even cosmetic acupuncture and anesthetic acupuncture. Only what are the differences between some of the treatment modalities that you specifically work with? Um, well, traditional Chinese medicine works with the body's self-healing powers and energy. The Chinese call it qi. Um, systemic trigger point acupuncture actually is very much directed at pain and injuries and repairs musculoskeletal soft tissue. And cosmetic acupuncture, I think is quite self-explanatory, works on your face and appearance. What are the acupoints and the meridians? And what are their significance in the acupuncture treatment? Well, this concept of qi, of vital energy in Chinese medicine, um, qi flows throughout the body. But in acupuncture meridians, that's really the main pathways or motorways, if you like, of qi. And acupuncture points are access points to these meridians, which are used in acupuncture to regulate the qi. Does the needling hurt at all, and is it safe? Most needles don't hurt. Some cause a slight prick. Very rarely you have a burning sensation, and um, it's kind of very much acceptable. Um, as far as safety is concerned, these days most acupuncturists use single-use pre-sterilized needles and therefore it's very safe. Is acupuncture safe for children? Well, I think it's very important that children are old enough to understand what's going on. In my eyes, that's probably an age bracket between four and seven. Um, and then it is quite safe. Actually quite nice for children because they respond very, very well. And once they get their head around the idea, it tends to be fine. Only why is acupuncture such an effective form of treatment uh, for the conditions that we've spoken about? Well, I mean, if we're talking traditional Chinese medicine, it draws on the experience of several thousand years. They have a very intricate understanding of how the qi works in the body and it works with the self-healing powers and encourages those to kind of, uh, encourages the self-healing power to reestablish a state of health and balance uh, and, and that's what makes it so effective. If I come for acupuncture, will I see results quite quickly? Or is it um, a fairly slow process? I mean, as a rule of thumb, you can say if the condition is not very old, it won't take a lot of treatment. And if it's a very chronic condition, then you're looking at a kind of more elaborate treatment process. Okay. Thank you, Uli. Thank you so much for talking to me today. You're welcome.